Right, folks, guess what? Back Bear with back. another beer garden. Beer garden's back. Beer garden, got no rain, it's not pissing down. All good stuff, isn't it? Bit muggy, though, isn't it? Bit more gay, bit more gay. It's Betty Swallow's with her, isn't it? It is. Well, I don't, uh, I don't wear underpants. Really, I just go commando. It's not a visage that no. I needed to have. No, it's to probably fair. too much information. Um, I obviously wear pants when I'm at work because I have to keep the old, you know, the the army in uh, in its place. But when I'm out and about, you know. So if you ever do meet me out in the street, there's a fair chance I have no pants on. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just... What am I on? Am I, am I recording? Yeah, we're recording. <laughs> right, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't right. think we can start that again. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we can, can we? You can't uh, rehearse these kind of things. I don't rehearse. I have a lot... Like, sometimes I have ideas um, what, I'm what we're going to talk about. But, uh, no, it's all, okay. it's all natural. It's all natural. There's no... You know. Um, right. Um, as you can see, I have a hat on. It is from a company called... Oh, well, do you want to do your shout-out? Oh, it's more you, because you're the star. Oh, me? What yeah. have I got to say? Just uh, happy birthday to Greg. Happy Today. birthday to Greg. It's uh, Cameron's nephew. And um, You're the star, mate. You know, I'm him and his mates were the ones that spoke to you that day out the front of you. Oh, what? Then there are about ten yeah. of them, and yeah. they all descended yeah. on me. I thought yeah. I wanted to get a kick in. Yeah, <laughs> it was one of those. So. One of them. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, he did say. Yeah. He did say, yeah. So, that's good stuff. Happy birthday, buddy. Don't get too drunk. <laughs> Observe the lockdown and everything like that, you know. So, we get out of this soon, you know. We'll have none of this uh, getting too close to people. <laughs> no. No, don't want to be too close to <laughs> Don't want to be too yeah, close. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. Happy birthday. Uh, what I have done, I have been to a company in Melton Mowbray. Um, I... Uh, went and bought these these are not free right i've bought these but he recognized me from when i went there the last time this is it and he, and he says oh what are you doing i says well i'm doing a beer garden with your beers he says all right brilliant um do you want a hat and i went yeah he says well wear the hat when you're doing the video so so there it is folks if you're living around the melton mowbray area when you go to get your pork pie or your stilton cheese pop along to round corner brewery um they do all kinds of stuff it's a little bit expensive as such but it's well worth the money you know what i mean other small independent yeah owner. this is what i'm doing this is what i'm doing shut that bloody dog up um you know supporting it's about supporting local businesses and when the place is back up and opening this lockdown done they've got a nice little bar area they normally have a um uh a fast food store parked up. Oh, so oh, yeah, the, the, I went once and they had. Um, it's the neighbour she's cutting the bus. Unbelievable! Don't know how I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to earn a crust. Um, I've lost it. Oh yeah, they got. Uh, I think they had Chinese uh, something or other up, and it's brilliant. And they have different ones every time. So when it is all done and dusted, get yourselves to the uh, round round corner. Round corner. round corner is that like a roundabout are they on a corner <laughs> we're in the cattle market so uh so what we, me and cameron are going to do um we're going to start off with the most uh potent one uh this is hopping spree west coast ipa it's a 6.6 percent .6%. pop one of them boys how are we i don't know how it's so, there, you go. there you go um lost and chilled Oh, this is a recyclable top. That's well, good. What a fancy little top, isn't it? That's good, that is. Look, and it's good because what happens is when you recycle it, I always rip cut and cut yeah. them up. So, so a, a turtle, or a seagull doesn't yeah, have it, it wrapped around its neck. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You know it. Um, so, that's brilliant. See, these little companies, that's where the extra bit of money's coming in, I yeah. think. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, it is, isn't it? Like, well, look at the can. It's got nice yeah. on it? There's the can, folks. They are. They've got a texture to them as well, isn't they? 330mm. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Yeah, that's, that's where your money's... <laughs> that's yeah. where the money's going, it's, isn't it? Wait, hold on, I've got to take my hat off for a second. Get my glasses on. Oh, oh fuck it. Just one minute, mate. I'm just taking that off so I can read. Uh, 
After a particularly boisterous day at the races in 1837, legendary rabble rouser the Marquis of Waterford and his party descended on uh, and his party descended on our market town and quite literally painted the town red. Inspired that notorious spree through Melton, the delicious West Coast IPA is a riot of hoppy goodness and character crafted to quench your thirst and quicken the spirit. Right, where's Waterford? Do I? June! It's on the West Coast. Waterford. I'm hoping it's not something like. If they're, if they're going through the town, it must be out. I've never heard of it. Well, 1837, I don't think, I mean, they've been waiting for a bypass in Melton Moby for a bloody long while. So, it's a good job it weren't built in 1837, or they might have missed it. Now, can you remember these kind of glasses? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we used to drink out of them at the rugby club all the time. Is it raining? Yeah, it's Oh, jeez. And then, when we, um, Towards the end of the night, when we had a couple, yeah, we used to pay curling with them. Is it to Ireland? Ireland? <gasps> and the clubhouse, the rugby club. Really? You know, the things you do, isn't it? And so, <laughs> some people got a little bit carried away and started bringing the fires into <laughs> to Luba. Really? Yeah. June says it's a city in Ireland. Oh, so how the... Okay. Southeast Ireland. They would have wanted a beer by the time they come back mm. through Melton there, wouldn't they? That's a proper IPA ale, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Is it? I don't want to taste a little bit citrusy. Yeah. Yes. It is citrusy, yeah. isn't it? Now, I'll admit, I'm not a fan of the citrusy stuff. Um, but this is okay, to be fair. You know, I mean, I'll be honest. I won't. I, I'm fed up with the citrusy stuff. But this yeah, is okay. It's okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm over. Yeah. I went through a flavour and beer. I, yeah. I went through a phase of drinking them, and I think what happened was I think I drank myself out of them. I'm, you know, you, for a first off, they're quite nice. Yeah. They're enjoyable. Like for a, maybe for refreshing on a hot day, like not like today, but. Yeah, that's. If yeah. you're into this IPA uh, citrusy stuff, you'll love this. Yeah. If you, that's what you really like, you will enjoy it. Yeah. I can't believe it's raining. It's the same like last week. It's a, it is. It's exactly the same as last week. Last week, I'm just uh, cleaning my lens. Yeah. So. Uh, it's nice. It's very. It's a nice taste. Yeah. Um. It is nice. I won't, you know, but I, 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 I won't. I'm not. That does put me off it. Yeah, this, I'm not a citrusy fan. It's quite um, strong. I don't. Mm. It's my It's six point six percent as well. You can you it, can feel the strength, can't you? Yeah, it's even quite a sour taste. Yeah. Right now. Um. But, yeah. <sighs> but uh, like I say. If you like citrus, these IPA citrusy drinks, you will love it. Love they, it. I tell yeah. you what, what they do do at the uh, round corner. They do a black lager. Do they? Oh God! And I says, "You got any black lager?" He says, "No, we sold out." Oh. I thought, for fuck's sake, that's what I wanted. That would have been nice. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a review because I absolutely love it. But um, there you go. What can you say? Yeah, it's cool. Hopefully, it'll be in soon. Yeah. So anyway. I've been reading the paper at work today. Have you? I'm busy, yes. then. Yeah. <laughs> On the break, of course. <laughs> yeah, of and course. Uh, uh, th this, is, this bloke, Charles Bronson, right? For the visually impaired, I'm holding a picture of Charles Bronson up. Not Charles Bronson, the actor, Death Wish, but the uh, prisoner. And um, it just amused me, What's the story. He? What? Well, he's actually after, he wants uh, to be freed now. Okay. Right, and he wants to make a career for himself as a respected, respected artist. Oh, is he? he's, he's educated him some well, he's looking, himself you know, in some way in prison. He's looking forward to the future. He's 67. Oh. You know, he's, he's looking, you know, he wants to... He's, 
pay his debt to society and then try and create something of beauty and sell it on and make a fortune. All right, lover. Yeah. Uh, but this is what um, this is what um, I really wanted to read out. This is what uh, tickled my balls. Uh, Bronson was first jailed for seven years for armed robbery in 1974. Uh, since I need my glasses on, I wondered why that were all uh, blurry. Take my fucking hat off again. Hold on, folks, I'm getting there. I feel like Boom Hour. Boom. Um, since 1974. Um, basically, he, since being in prison, he has taken hostages in 10 sieges, attacked at least 20 prison officers and caused £500,000 worth of damage. He now believes his four year, four, <laughs> four year stretch, four and a half decade jail stretch is finally coming to an end. He hopes to be freed and moved to a Devon and live in a cottage. So if you live in Devon and he does get out, I'd probably move out of Devon. He's obviously... Phil said he's reformed himself. He says, I don't want people to fear me. I'm not saying I'm a pussycat, but I want to prove to everyone that I'm not the monster they think I am. To be fair, <laughs> I don't think he's a monster as such. The thing is, though, when you're in prison, if you don't, if you're weak, you get, you have a tough time, don't you? Yeah, you do. You have to stand up for yourself and all that kind of thing. I would have thought, I have never been in prison. Um, do we know anybody who's been in prison, June? Uh, <laughs> pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that, June. Uh, if you didn't hear it, uh, June said, my dad. Not my dad, but June's dad. Um, yeah. <sighs> I think you were in with... Who were in with, June? Huh? Who was he in with? He were in, in the 60s, so if you think of anybody... Uh, eh? Well, it was with what? Briefly. Yeah, only briefly. It was in Waker. It was in Wakey for prison for a while, for a while. but uh, yeah, he. Um, yeah, it was. Shall we tell the story, June? No, no. all right. But well, he did. Yeah, yeah, that's all kind of thing. Well, not that we see the family, do we? No, no, we don't really. No, um, but what he did do, most men would have done as well. Let's put it that way. If I knew about it. I'd have fucking hit him with a fucking uh, such and such as well. <laughs> if you get what I mean, just just transport your mind into mine, and you'll you'll get it. You'll get what you you'll understand. Um, the police agreed with him and looked after him. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, so it just cracks me up, Charles Bronson. He's um, he's you know he's he's done for what did you say? Four, four and, and a half decades. decades. That's a lot of life, four, isn't it? Like Forty-five years. I mean, fuck me. These people are getting out after doing atrocious things to people. Yeah. After twenty years, yeah. ten years, in fact, isn't there? Yeah. The judicial system in this country what? is shit. I do. Yeah. You know. When they say life, they should mean it. Huh? Yeah, they should mean life. I don't think there's um. If you take a life. Yeah. Not yeah. Do you shouldn't have your life, life kind yeah. of thing. It's uh, I'm I'm a big fan of boot camps. To be fair. Yeah. You know, yeah, smashing rocks and cleaning coal. I really am. Really am a fan of that. All these bloody joy riders and stuff. I think, uh, you know, I think it's a good thing to do. Yeah. 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 Bring them down. So. So, there you go. Yeah. Better than them going out and let's a pick the on the road. Yeah, and say so you get six months, and if you try and take on... You see, what you could do is actually give this to uh, pr jobs to ex-army people who can't find the way in life. But they need that discipline. Yeah. And, so, you know. Well, yeah, it's good thing. Yeah, I think it's so. There you go, people. Yeah. yeah You've left the army, need something to do. Yeah, I do. I think, you know, well, I mean, there's some evil little sods out there, isn't there? And, uh, well, there is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fair play. They're all running around London at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. But there you go. What can you do? On both sides of the political yeah. fence, shall we say, as well. Yeah. Not just one side. Uh -huh. uh, so. Oh, fucking mad. <laughs> How was your curry? Oh, curry. Did, if you watched The Last Beer Garden, I gave him a curry. Curry was amazing. Yeah. Now, I've been to quite a few little uh, Indian restaurants yeah. in Leicester with yeah. a few mates of mine that, honestly, I wouldn't go to yeah. by myself. Yeah. There's one that you actually have to ring a buzzer and they let you in. Really? And then quite often, I'm the only fair-skinned person. <laughs> 
in there with him and it was up there with some yeah. of the curries I've had in there. They are, they do, there is some but amazing... The spices, just, it took me back. Yeah. So, I was like, you had one in the week, didn't you? Yeah, and you could smell it, couldn't you? You could smell it. it was, yeah. I was half didn't go, there. Um, yeah. Yeah, spice and easy. Get on to my yes, they are curry this, review and uh, get on the link. The curry was delicious. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, that's it. It, it really was good. Fixed. Yeah. Bit. I'm going to get in touch with him and get oh. some more. I'll get I'll get you some more over. It's only two pound, two pound and two pound fifty a pack. The fucking that awesome. Was, that was yeah, yeah. I really loved it yesterday. Yeah. I mean, I've been to some uh, good Indian restaurants as well. I, I love Indian food, and I tell you what, right, people, in, just in this time of the world as it is at the moment. I mean, I've met in uh, Indian restaurants all over the country. Uh, my favourite one is the Beelash in um, Lytham St. Anne's okay. when I used to work up there doing uh, soundproofing. Yeah. And uh, I had amazing times in there with the owners. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the, <laughs> I know they're taking me money and stuff, but really, really good. And yeah. I love going in an Indian restaurant and chatting away with them and stuff. Oh, I do, I love it. Like, when I go to the land I play cricket with, you go in, you, you, you walk in, you're like, Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> but the food is just amazing. Absolutely. Like, yeah. When you come out and your clothes smell of yeah, the spices. Yeah, you smell of it, and you get up you in the morning, it. and you and you can still smell it. Your pillar stinks of it because you've sweated it out. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. No, but I was, I was really impressed. I was really fancying the curry, and that really fooled yeah. the took uh, away the. Them curries are good, the aren't they, June? The curries are really good. Yeah, they are good. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, but there's, even when you whack the spices in the frying yeah. pan, and it, 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 you do just sort of... Yeah, it, it is. You. It is really good. I know it's a lazy way of doing it. Um, yeah, if you had to go buy all the spices, yeah, that you might only use once, once twice, twice, if you're lucky, yeah. and and you can't buy it and can't buy them in nice little bags. No, can you? it's big. Well, I bought um, Chinese spice, five spice yesterday, and it was something like two pound ten p. Yeah. I mean that was from cost cutters, so it's going to be a little bit more. There is no cost cutting at cost cutters now. Um, I love their meat though. Yeah, their meat. I get yeah. it every month for their meat. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The meat is good, but you know these spices and stuff are expensive, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And to just go and buy right. to, for the spices that are in that little pack, yeah, you can only get massive bags. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. It is. It's value for money. It it's, was. Oh, and it just makes your meal. Just it was absolutely delicious. So. We, How many of you now are watching it. Want a Curry? Yeah. Well, ever that since you gave it you. to me, I've wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a week. <laughs> so had to get the coconut milk. So, it is a nice spicy nice beer. beer. A nice spicy nice. beer. What the fuck am I talking? <laughs> it's um, a nice it, beer. It is a nice beer. It's, I think you can. It, you can tell it's an IPA. You can feel the strength in it. I'm, I'm afraid. That but I'm not a big fan of the citric it fruit. Was quite overpowering the citric. Yeah, yeah, it was. But if you, I mean, there's a lot of people out there who actually love this stuff, and yeah. you will like that. Yeah. If you're if you into like your IPA flavour. Yeah. Get that. Yeah, you got it. You got it, mate. Right. What are we going for now, then? Uh, oh Blaze and saddles. Ooh. Yeah. Do you want one, June? Like no, it don't taste of baked beans. <laughs> Blazing saddles. Oh. Have you ever seen this sketch? No. Oh, right. Do you want a journey, baby? Uh, I'll have a little bit. Or do you want a MD 2020? Have you ever had MD 2020? No. Do you want to try an MD 2020 in a bit? Can do, yeah. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, go on. Pour yourself that one. I'll have a bit more in a bit. No, but well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, folks, this one is... Oh, for fuck's sake, this hat. I do like the hat, to be fair. I look like a train driver in America, don't I? Doot, doot. Or E7. Or E7. Well, they take like the other type. Yeah. See, that's what they should have done. Round corner brewery. Put it on the side. They should have put... <laughs> they should have put um, the logo on the back as well. Because then that way, when people do wear them like this, and have the peak on the back, you've also got the label on the front. You could have put it there. Marketing. I'm wasted here. Um, right. What are you laughing at? June's chopping a radish. As a dry, as dry as a Lincolnshire farmer's humour, 
Blaze and Saddles is out I there. I wonder where that was going. Yeah, I did. <laughs> a summer beer made in winter for you to drink on warm, languid afternoons on the farm or whenever you find or wherever you find yourself. I haven't got a farm. Shall we buy a farm, June? I don't think I want a farm. Pouring a brush oh. golden colour, this beer is complex. Citrusy, for fuck's yeah. sake. Actually, it's not very. Ain't it? Isn't it? June, uh, when we used to do uh, beer reviews with somebody. Simon. Uh, Simon. <laughs> um, um, we had some citrusy stuff, and um, I think that's where I got fed up with all the citrusy stuff. And uh, June put a lime in it. Not, not lime, lime, lime juice. Lime juice, lime cordial. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, that, it absolutely made the drink. Did that yeah. sort of nullify yeah, the... Yeah, let the side down, because Simon takes it really, really serious. And I went, Ugh, I don't like that. I'm going to put some lime in it. Yeah, and she put some lime in it. And then he went and got some, and he agreed. So there you go. Uh, these, oh, it's a grapefruit, peel, and lemon hop uh, yeast spiciness filled out using grains of paradise additional to low levels yeast. A word I can't say, and uh, something else. <sighs> right. A word you couldn't say. A word I couldn't say. Philharmonic, philodic, or something. Right, so here we go, folks. I what? tell you what, they've got a good head. And what can't you beat, Cameron? Good head. <sighs> what do you reckon, dude? It's, it You definitely can't take it's not as overpowering with the citrus flavour. Like no, it isn't. The first one. This is actually quite a nice drink. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. This is quite nice. It is, isn't it? This is very nice. Actually. Yeah. It reminds me of something. What's it remind you of, June? I can't. It reminds me of a bitter. Yeah, it's got a bit of a bit of flavour, isn't it? Is it pedi? Yeah, is it what you done for it? Yeah, I think this reminds me of pedigree. Actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's got a bit of a pedigree. June's got to put a lime in it. Oh, I think it reminds me of bitter. Yeah, it's got a bit of a pedigree. So. And it has got a bit of a pedi. I won't be able to tell you folks until the morning if it is pedigree. Because <laughs> <laughs> pedi... Pedigree don't off make you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep that one though, guys. <laughs> I like that. It is nice. nice it? it is a lot better that, than the first one. Yes. For me. Yeah, it is for me as well. But that's only because I'm not into the citrusy stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. That was quite strong in the first yeah. one. Yeah. So there you go. <clears throat> so anyway. Moving on, Moving on to topics and discussion. Hold on, let's see how much I've got time. 23 minutes. Uh, I'm going to stop the camera and start it again. Right, this is my editing. There you go. You didn't even know, did you? Didn't even know we'd stopped and started. I should have done that and turned it around and looked at the brick wall. Um, <laughs> So, don't they don't yeah. get upset. Yeah, they, they, they get do, upset. don't they? They get upset. I can't they're... believe they don't like the brick wall. Can't people realise? Oh, I bought them. I was like, where the hell's that? I haven't seen that in the house. <laughs> this fucking boy doing Do you know what? It, what disappoints me is that people take me seriously sometimes and all this is is just a laugh and a I joke. Know. And I'm just trying to bring a bit of happiness to people yeah. uh, during these tough times in this well, world. It's, it's, it, and to be fair, it is getting a little bit harder now. <laughs> it fucking is it's, getting harder. You know, I, I look at back home, it's it, back to normal. Yeah. It's bound to be out there. You've only got a population of 12. No, but because of how they, they locked down for five weeks. Yeah. And now it's all back to normal. Yeah. Sport back with crowd, sell out crowds. I know. What fucking and that's just... <laughs> Are you allowing flights back into New Zealand? I don't yet? know. They're quite... Um, I think you've still got to go into 14 day quarantine yeah. when you go back home. I, 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 that's a good thing, that, I think. Um, um, it's The quarantine thing is a really good thing because you can actually keep an eye on who's coming into the yeah. country. You can actually control it more. Um, th this is ideal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is. But I don't know where you're going to fucking quarantine. If you're coming here on... I mean, it's no good for the tourism, obviously, but obviously it, this is just a learning curve, isn't it, kind of thing? You know what? Hopefully we can get the 
they keep on going on. What, the one key sort of number I want to know nowadays is they're how many infection rates a day, not how many people die. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I mean, not, don't get me wrong, if people die, it's a sad it's, thing. It's terrible, but that's going down. I have one. Oh, so yeah, June so didn't have a full one, did she? Um, you know, you can't... You know, that is a terrible thing, but now you want to know that we're actually... The, yeah. the key sort of yeah. figure that, to me, is what the rate is. What now. is it, 27 today? I haven't seen Yeah, I think it. it's 27 today, and people yeah, are still waiting for the second wave. Um, there you go. Just, there you go. You keep washing your hands, don't you? Just keep washing your hands, especially Not when you've had a piss. My hands are very red raw, don't you? Sure. Might change. Um, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> They're on about these pubs that are opening in the... Is it what? Is it June the 22nd well, I or something? Don't, what is, I've heard the saying. They're, they're putting a bit of pressure on now, aren't they? Yeah. Like, we're going to have to sack everyone and fold and if you don't let us open soon. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much what I gathered from... Yeah. But what I'm, what I'm, go I'm going for is the fact that they're on about banning music. To Why? Is that so people don't turn up? That, no, that's so people don't have to get close to each other to shout in their ear, so keeping the social distancing. Okay. And the thing is... I what, thought it was so it wouldn't create an atmosphere and people no, wouldn't turn up. No, I think it's because people don't... Because when people are in a... I mean, we've all been in a club, haven't we? Or we've all been in a pub and stuff, and the music's that fucking loud. You can't hear yourself fart. And, well, it's uh, just normally a good thing. Yeah, it is. Then you, you can, can, you you can, can fart can. and walk away and leave it. <laughs> and everybody's going, who's done? Who's done? Uh, is that you? <laughs> Dirty you know, bastard. You it is you. You just get away with it and deny all. Yeah. And then they go, it is you, because you did one when we got in the taxi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what it is, is to stop people getting close. Oh, okay. Uh, but the thing is, right, if you're out in a pub and you are single and you are on the pool, you're going to go and see a girl or a bloke or whatever, you know what I mean? All right, well, I've none of that funny business on here. You're going to go over and start chatting to them, aren't you? You are, yeah. So, <laughs> what are you going to do? Fucking, oh, you could do like uh, the NXS video when the old sign's up. Maybe, maybe you're going to have to carry around like a plastic screen. Yeah. A purse and a little handheld. Hey, there's a business opportunity. Yeah, hold a thing up. You could, we could create like clear plastic. Yeah. It's like for people to carry around your stand what? and you talk. Yeah, it. when you had, can you like when the ladies used to wear the, well, I can't remember because I fucking weren't there, but they you know, wear the, the, uh, what the, the masks. You used to put a mask up to the face, didn't yeah. you? On a stick. Or the goggles that you used to get at cinema or theatre. And um Masquerade mask. You could yeah. have yeah, you're right. We could have We could create clear plastic panels. Yeah. And hold them up to your face. And you can go up and speak to someone. And the good thing is the person that you're talking to will also have a clear uh, panel. So you'll have things. double glazing. <laughs> you will. Fucking you problem someone, solved. Here's a business. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> and you can't copy it because we've thought of it and it's on here. So shove that up, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Yeah, problem solved. Boris will love us. <laughs> we've cured it. We've, cured, we've solved the problem. <laughs> so maybe. <we> can... <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, hold it out in a meter each, yeah. and you're fine. You could have it on a bit of a, on a, a, a bend. Oh, oh, you get <laughs> get it like the police. <laughs> hold it yeah. like that. Hold a police baton. That's it. Yeah. Get back, you bastards. I don't want you spit. Mind you, that so Then we could go back to normal. Yeah. And then you could push the, the perspex up against... No, I'll leave that. Oh, fuck it. Like, like when you're in the shower. <laughs> That's my, what will happen at the end it of the night. It will happen at the end of the night. If you, you know what I mean. If you, if you don't know what I mean, you shouldn't be watching this channel. Per, uh, glass, shower, and nakedness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like they're on about doing this, this music in these pubs, like no music. The pubs we actually go in, we don't even have any music anyway because well, we create our own, like a like a pub in the village. 
the only time they really have music is maybe a Friday night. Do yeah. They? they don't actually have much on in the background. On no, the, and it, it, and if they do act in the week, do yeah. I don't go to the pub often in the week. Well, we go to the Anchor at uh, Walters. Fucking brilliant fish yeah. and chips. Yeah, and, they started uh, doing them online, haven't they? Yeah. I was going to I was going to review them, but they didn't get no peas. I wanted peas. If we'd have got peas, I'd have reviewed it. And it, but it was nice. It was a good fish. Yeah. And all the chips are own, you know, their own proper cooked chips. That they're, they're not like out of a fucking. Well, they nice big doorstep. They're, they're not that big, but you can tell they're a proper chip, cut from a potato in their kitchen. Oh, that's like mother used to make. Yeah, interesting, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for Rothley Chip Shop to open back up. Rothley? It's open. Is it open? Yeah, we went the other night. Did you? Yeah. Uh, we, um, the story oh. was, the story is that we should have picked the child up at six o'clock. But, for some reason, she rolls up at twenty-five past six. And the question was, to the child, what part of six o'clock don't you fucking understand? Oh, my son's just walking at such and such time and we were just late. Yes, you were late. So anyway, it had to be roughly chippy on the way back. Are they open then? I haven't... Yeah, they haven't, they've only just opened this week. And they they've haven't got put anything out on their things. Well, they've got a touch screen. You order what you want. So I, I think you can them. order online as well, can't you? Can you? I yeah. don't know. It was just a one-off thing. I only drove by just in case they are open. And they were open. Oh. And it was fabulous fish they and are chips. Yeah. For a... For a, You know, when you go to the seaside, the coast, yeah. the fish and chips are always... Yeah. But... You know, we're in the Midlands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they are. are the best around. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'd done a review there a couple of months yeah. ago. And uh, I just turned up. I don't want free stuff. I don't do it for that. I don't do this for that. I just do it because I enjoy doing it. Anyway, um, I ordered my food, went over and had a chat with June in the van and uh, went back. And he come back out. The bloke could, oh, Mr. Blue, man, man, and all this shit. Fuck's sake, here we go again. Um, Thanks for the review. He says, I've been trying to get older. I thought, well, fucking email me. <laughs> my email's there. If you want to get older, me email me. And um, anyway, he's offered me fish and chips uh, for two in the restaurant when he finally opens. Oh, lovely. I says, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because I just do this for enjoyment. Yeah. No, no, no. He says, you really did. You got me a lot of business. Oh, well. All right, then, fair enough. <laughs> That's it, so. Yeah, oh. Rothy Chippy's open, mate. Get Brilliant. yourself over there. Awesome. Yeah, I want some fish and chips. Anyway, how's Fluff? What is he? I is he? From. Oh, he's a fucking nuisance. Look, I have to ring him. I tell you what, why don't you him. copy the link to this video and get him watching it, and he might fucking. I'm, um, I could bring it now. You won't answer his phone. Nah. Won't be stretched towards. And uh, I hear you've said that uh, one of our neighbours wants a beer garden round his beer garden. He does, yes. Yes. He does. All right, dog. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do that then. Well, uh, location. Of uh, change the location and go round there. He does indeed. He wants to get involved. That'll be good, that would, because Mitch does talk shit. <laughs> he does, yeah. He yes. does. He's very interesting, but he does talk a lot of shit, and it's quite <laughs> interesting shit, so it's quite good, you know what I mean? Some tales there. I'm sure. So. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Uh, steady, isn't it? That. Uh, this is. This is a nice, a nice bit of drink. I'll tell you what we'll do. You could, a steady one. It's a... Yeah, it is. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do the steeple chase next. And then we'll see which one's the best of the three. Yeah. And have one more after that. Okay. We'll pick the best one. <sighs> right. Um. Put that there so I know that all goes with that. Right, buddy. This Here is the steeple chaser. Pop one. Really fancy little things. I like that. It's good thinking of the environment. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, I'm willing to pay nice more. Cans. These are nice. Yeah. Pale hell. I'm willing to pay more for the environment. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you want to? You're a bit of a gritter, are you? Well, me sounding like a not. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Well. Oh, you got to do your bit. I think you've got to do your bit. That's yeah, why I've had you? solar panels. Um, I bought a diesel because the government spent so long telling me to buy a diesel. Yeah, but now they tell you not to. Well, I'm sorry. I'm still going to stick with a diesel because 
I get really good mileage for the 2.5 that it is, and I'm going to have it. I, you have the engine clean, can't you? You can have a company yeah, come yeah, round yeah, and clean yeah. the engine. Yeah, well, you can put stuff in it. Yeah. Thing, so I'm going to have all the engine cleaned. I do low mileage, but I want value for money. Um, everything's all insulated in the house. We've really gone to town on trying to be eco friendly. You know, I keep itching ginger over the head with the empty plastic bottles because she keeps pointing them in the fucking bin that goes in the waste. You know? It's the youth of today, though. The youth of today. The youth. So, you know, I, I, I am willing to pay a little bit more for stuff like these ring pull things. Oh, yeah, that's so, they are quite fancy. Right, what's this one then? Oh, yeah. I, need my, I need my glasses on again. I've got to take my hat off. Take my hat off to you. Well, take me out off to your round brewery corner thing. Uh, on a fateful night in 1890, 11 riders in pyjamas <laughs> set to jump fences and ditches that they could barely see. Crowded, uh, cheered on by a crowd who couldn't see anything for those who could remember it the next day. It was unforgettable. What the fuck is this on about? How many did you have before you wrote this? Round corner brewing. Brewery. Ooh. Brewing. Roundcornerbrewing.com. Oh, this is, it's got hops from New Zealand, this is. Oh! Ooh. Now there's a fake. June, do you want to try another beer? Go on then. New Zealand and US hops. It's got New Zealand hops in it, so he's happy. Cameron's happy. Steve Hey, Mocha Rica. Are you, are you June? Yeah. Oh god, June's tiddly. Must have been the line of putting it. If you hear screams of passion, it'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I didn't tempt you that in there. There you go. It's got good head, Cameron. It has indeed. <laughs> Do you like good head, June? No. No. There you go. I thought you were going to have a gin. Well, I was, but I'm well, just on the beer. Now she's on the beer. She's on the beer. Now. <laughs> she's on the beer. I've just got a glass of frog for the minute. Yeah. Oh, June, I wanted to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I read. Just say I'm real. What? Your tits? <laughs> I'm fucking believable. Oh, I read. I'm going to have nightmares. Uh, fucking. I tell you what, the first time I <laughs> saw them, I oh, fucking. My eyes were like. You've seen the cartoon characters. <laughs> Boing. Or the glasses you can buy on springs. That were me. Oh. I made a right mess, didn't I? Go on, why are you asking me? What do you want to ask me? Do you want to go up the Asda? Not today. No. Uh, no. They shut early, don't they? Yeah, I know. It's just a euphemism. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. What, what? <laughs> shut early. <laughs> no, you're not going up. Shut early. Um, yeah, I know what, I know what you're going on. <laughs> what? I've read. Oh, God. Right, that. Uh, Animals are causing this COVID-19, the passing COVID-19. Have you got anything to say on the matter? Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, about the animals. Of, yeah. I think what? This, it, it, when we're walking, good, what, it's only hold a on, problem you're butting you know, in. I know I am, but that's well, only going to be a problem, up. isn't it? If you go and fuss somebody else's animal. What? what it's when, obviously, we walk the dog and we let her off, let her run, chase the ball and stuff. And people say, oh, like, oh, you know, dogs around me. It's like, okay, I'll call her back. I'll be fine. I was like, why are they doing that? And then it sort of started drifting out in the media that all oh, the coronavirus can be carried by dogs if it's on this. If we pet her and then yeah, someone else does, but you've got to have it to. Yeah. It's pretty low risk. Doesn't, though, doesn't it, it come down to if you keep washing your hands after you touch the dog? You've got to yeah. wash Which you should do anyway. Yeah. Like we all do. <laughs> yeah, like we all do. Yeah. Well, we used to, you know. Yeah. We do now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what? But, yeah. but I mean, when I when I took the dogs to the vet um, at the start of the lockdown, I mean, they they sort of changed the leads and stuff. Took, yeah. took my lead off and put them. Yeah. I mean, they're still treating the dogs and stuff, and obviously they're just practicing yeah. good hand hygiene, aren't yeah. they? As they should be, anyway. Well, it's an unknown vet. entity. That's... Yeah. I think the risk is pretty minimal. Isn't I it? think it is. It's, oh, it's... It's... The thing is, I got it from Leicestershire Live, right? Yeah. And Leicestershire Live are renowned for being a bunch of 
fucking liars. Scaremongers. They are, they absolutely, you go onto the Leicestershire Live website and they're all connected. All these Devon Live, Hampshire Live, bloody, they're all the same and they just love putting fear well, into people. Just, you know, it does, it keeps people. I think, I think the whole thing is you've just got to be sensible, haven't you? Because we can't, it's we can't be stay in lockdown sense, forever, can we? We can't stay in lockdown forever, no, we can't I'm, live in fear. And I'm, I think. I don't. I'm no, sick, I know you don't. I'm sick of. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, I enjoy. The when I was told I could go back to work, and yeah, it was like, yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's just. I, uh, I think you've just got to be sensible, and if if you're yeah. healthy. Well, look at me. Yeah. I'm well healthy. Figure of a man. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you are, I can't see the problem. If you respect others, keep your distance from yeah. it, because just in case. It's, you yeah. Know. It's, well, there's. I call it the COVID shuffle. You know, it's like. People don't seem to look ahead. So no. without walking the dog, people don't go, oh, there's a footpath up there. Someone could come out of it. Yeah. Then they look shocked when you yeah. do come yeah. out of it. And, they, they and then they want to fight. They do. They want to fight. They always jump across the road. And I've noticed yeah. that a lot of people don't, it might be just me, but they don't actually speak. Whereas before they go morning, yeah. it's like oh. almost as if like, no, I'm not speaking to you in case I catch it. Yeah, don't even though you're it. on the cross the other side of the oh, fucking yeah. road. And I, madness. and I tell you something else, I've seen less people walking the dogs just lately. The yes. dogs are now, I said this a couple of weeks ago, the dogs are now looking at them and saying, are we going for a walk then? Are we yeah. going for a walk? No, uh, it's uh, funny. Uh, no, we're not going for a walk. Sit down. We, when the rain, we had the rain the other week, the last Saturday, we are out walking and there was no one. Yeah. yeah. I was like, all the dogs. I mean, I couldn't believe, I mean, because we, we've always had dogs and you, you sort of get to know the usual people, don't you? you yeah. People you see on your walk, where you usually go. And the amount of people that I, I'd never, ever seen before. Yeah. And, I know. and I'm not seeing them again. Well, now. we don't, we go up, see, up to Seagrave. Yeah. yeah. Across Porty Lane and then come back down. Fucking hell, that's a walk, isn't it? I don't even want to drive that. Am I walking? You don't like walking full well, stop. You, no, you I don't. It's a shortcut just before. Um, I like the shortcut. Before the. Oh, what's the place called on your right hand side? Gypsum. Gypsum. So it's a short, you come up and then you cross the road and then come down and you come back. Mm. We were crossing so many people a, f a month ago. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it's back, it's back to the usual suspects. You just see the usual no, dog walkers. Yeah, yeah. Dog walkers. It is, yeah. 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 So Before people, it's families. And people, we're all, we're, the dog walkers are always out, rain or yeah. shine yeah. or whatever. So people, if you had a dog during the lockdown, I'll come closer so you can fucking see me. <laughs> if you had a dog during the lockdown and you took it for lots of walk, think of that poor dog now, because that do poor dog now is thinking, what the fuck have I done wrong not no, to be taken for a walk? The dog walker will be back, won't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like Willow walks. Yeah, the walk is back. All the company. Uh, Fudgy's footsteps. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody else? Oh, I don't know what. Something petals, and I've seen them. Yeah, some at petals. Pets, petal, yeah, petal pets. Like yeah, I don't want to. Pet pals, you fool. Pet pals. Something I don't want to individually uh, just promote anybody because I'm all in for this local business shit. Don't um, be all back walking. Yeah. Right? Fudgy's footsteps. Willow walks and pet, petal, pet, 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 pet yeah. Pet pals. <laughs> Where do you get petals from? Me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what I think it is. It's just a load of complete shit. It there's, is. There's just, uh, but, I mean, but if you're concerned, don't touch your face. Yeah. And wash your hands. Yeah. I mean, I blame the animals for not social distancing. Oh, to be fair, our dog, she's very good at it <laughs> because she doesn't like other dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll oh. walk around people. Yeah. It's, just, it's just crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. The world's gone fucking mad. Oh. Fucking. That's like saying you can get rabies off a dog. It is. Well, it, didn't it come out <laughs> that a cat carried, or a cat can get a certain type of coronavirus? <sighs> As I'm sure I heard that early on. But and I, it was. Well, um, I'm sure there was something about that. That animals, or especially cats, can actually. But ain't. But it's a different line of it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it can't get is it humans. the company that sorted who said this is something like Sage? Yeah. And this. but they've not actually got any professional people who work from. It's all, you know, people who have bought their exams off the uh, internet <laughs> or something. Oh, I don't fucking know. Don't you like I, say, I think you just got to be sensible, haven't you? You have. You, you have got to be sensible. If you if you if you're, if you're afraid, then 
fine, yeah. but let everybody else get on with their lives. Exactly. We do need to get back moving, yeah. I was in Morrison's the other day, and uh, I was got my shopping on the, the uh, conveyor belt, and I was playing Generation Game, <laughs> Imagine Larry, <laughs> with myself, but there was no cuddly toy. People, if you've not seen the Generation Game, go YouTube it. And... Uh, this old dear, well I say old dear, she was only, what, Rory. 65? Yeah, 60, 65. And uh, she looked at me and I went, if you're not bothered, I'm not. She goes, oh, thank you. She goes, I'm fed up with it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the danger, isn't it? I that's think people it. are getting fed up with it. And I yeah. think, unless there is some leniency and some, some sensible <laughs> attitudes towards it, I think people are just going to yeah. abuse it. Yeah. I think just going to get fed up with it. You do see it though, like I was in the car up yesterday, if someone had looking at something, I stood back and waited and she sort of, looked, she sort of looked at me and was like, go on then, I'm oh. like, well, this is the I mean, I'm not bothered, but you don't know whether they're yeah. going to be bothered. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I, yeah. I'm going to be, and she, so she stood back and it, but the look on her face yeah. was like, I'm trying to. Oh, I think I'm, yeah. I'm. I'm waiting for you. It's up to you. How I think long you need take. to wear yeah. a badge. We need to wear badges, and where if it's got oh. D. Okay, I'm not bothered. Yeah, DGF. <laughs> don't give a fuck. DGAF. That, what's that say? DGAF. Can that say a word? Know. Something like that. If you wear a badge that says "Don't give a fuck," then just carry on. But you know, you just gotta. Obviously, I do give a after, fuck. I do give a fuck. Don't be you stupid. You just gotta look after yourself, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but you know. Yeah. Try you've and got to take responsibility for yeah. your own You've just yeah. got to try and avoid people at the best possible. Yeah. When you just can give distance, give it. Yeah. R.O. Just try and get past as quick as possible. That's it. R.O. Respect others. Yeah. yeah. And if you're wearing a badge that says R.O., I'll give you the respect that you obviously want and need and that. But if you're not, I'll just take that piece of tuna. <laughs> not that Reach I Reach over them. Lean yeah. on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's absolute madness, yeah. isn't it? It's a project oh, it's for you. A... Anyway, what were we talking about? I have no idea. Yeah, I think it's just project for you. I mean, all this is going to do is make people dump the dogs and the cats, and that is just well, stupidity. You, you look after your pet, don't you? Well, oh, you do, but there's not pe there's people out there who don't. The, the people well, out. The, this is how stupid it gets. There was something in the in the media, so it must be true. Um, that somebody had bought a dog and they rehomed it because it didn't match their um, carpet. <coughs> what? <laughs> that, hold on, I'm going to stop this. Sums, that, I'm going to stop this and start again. Right, we're back again. What? So, so you're telling me that somebody bought a dog? Yeah. And then it got rid of it because it didn't there, match the carpet. Yeah, yeah, didn't match the carpet or the sofa or something, so they got rid of it, rehomed it. That doesn't about surprise years, me. Yeah, about 10 years ago. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is, people like that are allowed to vote. They're allowed to have animals. They're allowed to have children. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about worse. children, but yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. That's... Is it raining? Oh, I've got a drone. It's a drone. Someone's spying on us. Somebody is spying on us. Fuck off. <laughs> there is, there's a drone. Oh God! Now this is when you want a gun. Yeah, I know it is. It is when you want a gun. This it? is when you want a gun. Right, mate. I've drunk that bit. Oh, have we finished that? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh no, we've got more left. We've got June's bit. Have we? Here you go, dude. I'm kind of glad we're on the 330 mil cans. Yeah. Last week was a bit tough. Yeah. Well, I've been, I've been work as well today. I've yeah, done the yeah, weekend. Yeah, you've been grafting, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've done the Friday, Saturday, Sunday one. We don't like the Friday, Saturday, Sunday one, do we, June? No. It's better than the Friday, Saturday, Sunday one that you used to do, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Twelve, seven till yeah. seven. Yeah, the nights, that would have been a killer. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you reckon to this one, then, mate? This one is... Yeah, this one's quite nice. But I, I prefer the second one. Yeah, the second one. The I second did not one like is the first one. No, I didn't like the first one. This um, one has got a bit more. You can taste the citrus. Yeah, you can yeah. taste the citrus. I'm yeah. not so keen on this one. Yeah, but yeah, the, the second that, one is pretty good, isn't it? I'm getting that little sort of mm. sour taste in the back of my yeah. mouth. So, which is good. The, the second one, though, definitely a nice sort of easy drink. Yeah, second one is the best. Uh, we'll have that one again, then, shall we? We'll finish this one off, and then we'll have. Uh, 
Yeah, you can taste definitely the set, citrus. Yeah. Citru. yeah. So, um, how are you getting on then with this? Uh, are you, are you got any fame yet? Has anybody recognised you, dude? Or <laughs> a bit of recognition? Yeah. Yeah. You know, minding my business at the yeah. front of my property. <laughs> Couple of spotted in the village. Spotted, spotted in the village. Oh god. It's all good though, isn't it? Yeah. Have you uh, have you been watching? Hello to the couple who walked past with their collie dog. Collie dog. You know who you are. Yeah. Have you uh, have you been watching my videos with Chris? I've seen one of them. I've seen oh, the second. He's a fucking character. He is. You're just digging up everything now, aren't you? Oh, you're just... liking the little. Uh... I'm getting a nice little. Um... Did you ever watch the wrestling, the WWE? Um, or the WWE? I'm, I'm afraid I'm not a big... Or did you watch the WCW? Oh, no, I'm not a big wrestling follower. Did you ever heard of the NWO? No. With Hulk Hogan when he oh, no, jumped Hulk, ship. Who yeah, doesn't he, know who Hulk Hogan Yeah, when he is. jumped ship and he went to uh, WCW and they had a, a, a group called the NWO and uh, where everybody joined the NWO. New World Order. And uh, I feel yeah, like I'm getting my own it. little new world order, <laughs> uh, a little stable. Of <laughs> you are, you're getting the right little crew. Yeah, of you know what guests, I mean. It, aren't you? Yeah, and it's 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 good. It's good. And uh, Chris is the latest addition. Um, we have got another lad who will be joining called Steph. He is going to cook us some uh, Moroccan food. That's fucking big ale, that dude. Ah, fuck it. I'm not going in. It's too warm to go in. I don't think it's going to be dodged. He's going to bark oh, at I you. I won't. Hey, Lucky O. Oh, he's not barking at me. No, he's not working. He's not he will, mate. Yeah, good stuff. I've seen him smart. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah well. watch the other one with Chris. He's an absolute one, legend without YouTube. He's, uh, he's got so many stories to tell of his life. Um, he's just a classic lad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We went to. Um, he's a Leeds fan, right? And uh, man, there's no getting about it. Chris is a black lad, right? And he's a Leeds fan. And <laughs> we went up to Leeds and Charlton game. Many, many. I mean, you're looking in the early 2000s, and uh, we had a great time. There were nobody said anything. It was all welcoming and everything at Leeds. It was fucking brilliant. So, yeah, I've got um, me and Chris, uh, we, oh, yeah, we've known a long time, but uh, I saw him in Loughborough months ago. Uh, it, well, it was just after Christmas. And uh, he says, oh, mate, can I, do, can I do a video with you? I said, of course you can, Chris. I said, you should have sent me a text and we'd have done it earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah cheers, mate. He says, Jackson, his son, Jackson, he says, yeah, well, he, look, he watches you and all that. So he says, can I do a video? I says, yeah, we'll get some sorted. Of course, then this well, fucking well, asshole. Probably then in. life changed. Really. Yeah, and uh, couldn't do it. But um, so I, f I sent him a message and I says, "Do you want to do Pringles?" <laughs> and he went, "Oh mate," because that's how he goes. Oh mate, yeah. <laughs> so that were it. Brilliant. But we've got. I've got two more to release with Chris, and then uh, I'm going to go over and do something with him and another lad called Steph, and uh, just have a laugh. Oh, really? Really? That's what it's all about, isn't it? All about having a laugh. I'll tell you what, I'm getting some good colours, mate. Yeah. With the sun and the clouds and the yeah. rain, it's. And it looks quite heavy over there, doesn't it? It looks heavy over Bill's mother. <laughs> oh, Bill's mother's over there. Look like at that it. fucking plane! What's one of those? I'm... Look at that! Can I get it? Can I get the, Can no, I get the plane? Right. It's gone, it's in the clouds. It's gone. Oh, it's fucking gone, it's up there. They're up there in the sky. Wait, what's one of those? Where yeah. are they? I have not heard that for a long time, dude. Hey? I have not heard that for a long time. Oh, I bought myself a new mic. Have you? It's coming. Not this one. Uh, it's How coming. How tall is he? <laughs> I like that one as well. It's the... Uh, do you like mixed grill? Mixed grill? Does he oh. mind? <laughs> <laughs> have you had mixed grill? Have you had a mixed grill? Does Mick mind? Um, yeah, I bought myself a new mic, mate. It's one of them you just plug it on the top and then you plug it in and then it comes out to about here. Oh, okay. Well, it don't come out, that's it. Somewhere like that. And it can pick up from 20 metres away. Oh, sweet. So we can... Yeah. We, we can move, drop back. Yeah, we can drop back. Well, I'm thinking if we're going to do, if we're going to carry on doing this beer garden on tour... Yeah, <laughs> We're going to need the proper equipment, aren't we? Oh. You'll, uh, soon you'll have someone following us around. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, so yeah. folks, that'll be fun on Mitch's party. <laughs> yeah, it will. It will, be, it will be good. Well, I'll have a word with Mitch. It all depends what I'm doing next. Uh, that fucking weather. Ah, oh. oh, fuck it. We're only going to drink this, aren't we? Yeah. Um. Sure is. <laughs> hey, we're going to get used to the this if they carry on into the winter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what we'll have to do, we'll have to kind of organise some kind of tarpaulin. Um. Get some kind of rubber hooks and clip them over the the. Uh, yeah. Something. Yeah, we'll, have to we'll sort some of out. We'll sort so folks we've gone for the the, uh, the blazing saddle the blazing saddle, saddle is the um it's the winner it's the winner folks it's it the was. winner that's the winner can you see it i don't know if you can see it or not it's getting it's rained, isn't it yeah we're getting wet you want the sale no nah, we're all right but we're just going to drink this We've got one to drink. Uh, we've we've had three. We've picked a winner out of the three, and we're just going to have one more. Yeah, okay. so. So. It should pass, you know. Yeah, it'll pass. We'll be drowned, red. Right? <laughs> Fuck it. I bet Unky Steve he's loving this because he can hear the rain. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. nah, all right, isn't it? Yes. It They're good, Dom. They're good heavy drops, aren't they? Yeah. Is the camera going to be on? Right, there you go. Put a paper over the camera so it's um, <laughs> getting protected. 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 Oh, oh, if I knew you were wearing that, I'd have put my bloody. Well, I ain't, I ain't got what? one. I had a rugby. Uh, I always r like to try and represent in some way. I, uh, I had a rugby shirt, but I got too fat for it. Right, the last topic of uh, discussion while we're getting wet yes. is Prince Andrew. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I think, right, Prince Andrew, he's, um, yes. he's wanted for questioning with... Uh, he is indeed, he is. Oh, the thunder. <laughs> the thunder. If I see a flash, I'm gone. Unky Steve's loving this. Um, I'm glad I've got my crocs on because my feet are getting wet. Um, and I'm glad I've got my hat on because my head's getting wet. Um, he's wanted, isn't he, for questioning over yes, Jeff? Yes, yes. Yeah. And um, I say, send him back because we don't particularly need him. Send him to America because we don't particularly need him. Um, I am a fan of the royal family, but I don't think Prince Andrew is any fucking good. He's a spare, isn't he? He's Sorry. a spare. And so what I'm thinking is, you know that woman who killed that lad on the bike? Yeah. Who accidentally, because I, I do actually feel sorry for her, because she's come out of the thing and she's thought, oh, I'm in Southern California. Mm. Not that she speaks with a Yorkshire accent. But she's come out and she's gone, I'm on the wrong side of the road here. And she's hit the lad. She's, she's done him accidentally. Yeah. Completely accidentally. I personally think if she'd have stayed here, took a punishment, she'd have got suspended sentence, and all she had to do was say, I'm, I'm really, really, really sorry, sorry I'd... because I've fucked I up forgot, here. I forgot what side of the road I was Yeah, in. and that's... <laughs> and that's all it... I'm just putting my uh, <laughs> tablet in. I've not got it. This is fucking brilliant. This is brilliant. Right, so what we're going to do... So what do you think we should send him back and get her back to get her to face judgment and I'm they can keep trying to get her back anyway yeah they're trying to but they won't do it really donald trump's a knock. oh easy <laughs> let's all go down that slippery road no right i tell you what mate let's get this fucking down yeah. there <laughs> and uh and fuck it um yeah because the camera's getting wet look at this look it's brilliant um yeah we're gonna knock oh. this one on the way yeah, we're going to knock this one on the head, folks. I'm hoping you've enjoyed this edition of the Beer Garden, and we'll be back soon. Well, see you, later.